How's it going, everyone? I'm just talking to Dave and... Pink Fox back, babies. It's been a while since you've joined me for one of these kind of videos. I know, right? But, uh... Welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. You want to do the honors? Woohoo! <laughs> um... New, new content. Cause, oh, boy. Because new content wasn't enough. Okay, what's in here this time? Oh, good. You oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something, yes, I have something you, you exciting have to, to show you. You're, there's an echo in here. He's actually saying it, you know. Oh. She can't hear squat, mainly because only one of the earbuds in my ears are working. Yeah, and I don't have that ear. Even if I did give you the earbud, you still wouldn't hear anything. <laughs> okay. The end is never, 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 the end is loading. Uh. This. Why are we back here? Because maybe there's a new ending. I mean, it better be a new ending. Reflecting on the Stanley Parable, and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. I mean, oh. I'm not surprised so far the Ultra Deluxe is only jumping. So now I can't do it again, so... Whoa, 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 where, Which is what? Why I am very proud to announce for the first uh, time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Um. Yes, you see... Isn't this far superior to a measly port with a few minor additions? Think of all no. the territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why you, you can't build up from something that was so minuscule in the first directions. place. Still really good. This minuscule. Is what fans have truly been asking for. What fans? You'd be surprised. Our fans? Calling it the no, the fans of this game. So much Catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? I don't know. Stanley Parable 2. Now what? that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. If you say so, dude. Uh. All I see is a bunch of repeats. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work sure. itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Ah, uh, I beg to differ on that one. This way to the show floor. So, can I go this way instead? Nope. Apparently not. You don't have to go that way. New features, like... So far, it's all basically the same thing. Well, kind of like the first one. You make wrong choices in the original, yeah, he starts blocking you off. Here we are. Go what on, the try heck? out some of the new features. Hmm, left or right? Left. Okay. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Okay, then. For the Stanley Parable 2, I ask myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. I guess. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Shh. It's not really innovative, but sure. Jim. My so name is not Jim. Terrified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. 
I already hate it. Here we go. Let's take so a I. deep breath, <laughs> clear your mind, it's forget boring. whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Nah. Falling. I'll randomly. I'll randomly spam the Jim button, but Jim, then you get calling me Jim. You know what? Screw you, dude. I'm not. Bye. It's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. No. <clears throat> now, allow yourself ah, crap, to become I have to do Jim. It. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim, playing frisbee on the weekends as Jim, staying up all night for a Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy yep. now? Get out of here. I'm done. Thank you. Button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? You know what? I think I will. Humiliating you is exactly what I've been wanting to do since the start of this. Okay. Maybe I'll only let people what is it here? play the Stanley. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes. Uh, yes, it will go at the end of the um uh, well, we'll figure that out later. It'll go at the end of uh, The reassurance bucket. Oh boy. want to know settings world champion well then fine I don't understand this trophy then I thought that's what that was gonna do but because I'm pretty sure there's a trophy where you hey the jump circle this thing is pointless you know what let's bring the jump you circle back for Stanley parable 2 as well it's oh wait you already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Yep. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose so you it are a nice decorative piece then. You are boring, narrator. <laughs> it's funner to make fun of you. In fact, you're so boring, you're making my wife yawn. Now, huh? here's something special. You remember that broken test trophy that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply uh. give you the trophy. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. Uh. It's a technology that will exist. Right Shut now, up. The trophy is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. But I yeah, I can tell. The, it's the opposite. To at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been... Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. What yeah, okay. What I'm not taking you for your words. Oh, oh gosh. Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the oh, yeah, because every video game outside of this one has collectibles. I mean, the good ones. Some of the good ones do, but not every last one. For collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. That design around the collectible is, uh, why? That's not a bunch of arms. That's not a bunch of arms. That's a bunch of pretty much, what the? Arms and hands. Excuse me, where? Collect them all. Let's find them all, 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 find them all. everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. I figured eventually you'd get bored. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think there's much else to... What with? Oh, goodness. Um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the bucket exhibit. Ah, there's a surprise fine. Is going to spring on you later. <laughs> and bucket exhibit. Bucket. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the bucket, okay? All right, I'll get out of your hair now. Push my buttons, why don't you? Is that the bucket exhibit? What's over here first? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can... Yeah, I see it's a hole. Thank you. Infinite form. 
You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap. If it means getting away from you, then sure. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now, Maybe if I fall far enough, the it'll eventually. Control, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. No, I'm not gonna do what you say. Mm. I'm done with that. Now I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. No. Do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. No. Is this is it? Wait. Does this just keep I don't going? How to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain, it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Yeah, I'm noticing. You want to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole? It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one yeah, perspective, wait, the infinite wait. is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a there it is. Hey, okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You <laughs> found the outstanding. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're safe. Yeah, I know. Uh, look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as. I think that'd be fun. Actually. I've created Don't those kind of situations in Portal no, before. <laughs> Things got a little heated there. I think no, that's why I started talking and over you. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just <sighs> your way. Fine. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. I don't know if I want to know your ideas. Your ideas suck so far. I mean, the bucket? Do I really have to go get the bucket? Fine. Go get the damn bucket! I'm assuming it's in there. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? Why, why, why would I... Why would it go with Happy Twelfth Birthday? It's kind of random. But why do I also feel like if I choose that, you're going to tell me the op... You're going to pick the opposite. Just because I don't want it, I'm picking it. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday. Call it. Is. Oh, actually, maybe I should have gone with. No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Dude. Alright, what is the. What else is there to check? Wait. There's a door up. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it yeah. a chaotic sense I mean, I can see why people would say that. Who played it. Lag. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution. 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 It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Will reassure me that this lagging will stop? Sheesh. You see, Stanley, every time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Then you give me the dang bucket, it's a man! a more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you oh, imagine gosh! What that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. 
Can you feel it? The glow of feel what? Even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Are you dumb? That just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. So, I look fancy with the bucket, but I look crappy without it. All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable 2. Okay, let me leave. Thank you. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? No. It should be an award if it isn't already. Dude. Come on, man. What kind of question is that? I'm leaving. I actually leave now. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I can. Is it supposed to be Stanley? So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? It's no. It's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features <sighs> together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> the, I, I, these are the worst are sequel ready? ideas Very ever. Nice. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. And obviously the developers agree because what is this? Well, um, I mean there's potential here, right? It's No. Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. I mean it's better, but not really. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. No. I much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. What? You can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. This will be a four. Which is this basically the game telling me that there are going to be more endings based off the new features? Could it possibly work? I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction... That's what it is. ...is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can I'll have to look this up later, but this definitely confirms to me that this is not going to be the last episode. Take a look. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, okay. All right. Well. I, uh... Eh. Huh? Wait, that, that was the ending? That was the ending? I mean, the title's interesting. I'm gonna make sure to see if that was the ending or not. If that was the ending, then what the fudge? The ending is never the end. The end is never the end is never. Well, I get it. The end is never the end. <sighs> yeah, that was... Okay, where did the narrator put me? Okay, well, I guess we'll continue this off. We'll, we'll, we'll work on the other endings next time. I'll have to look up to see what these other endings are, but for right now, we're going to leave this video here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Stanley Parable 2. No, Ultra Deluxe. Screw you, title screen. You're screwing my brain up. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for an indie game you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. 
want to check out one that's been done prior to this, click the link at the bottom right hand corner of the train to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across my head here and the train to take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!